Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a desk and nightstand organization video. So we're going to pull everything out of my desk. There's a lot of random stuff in it and organize it. So I bought some organization bins that I'm going to show you when we get over to the desk. And then we're going to do the desk first and then the nightstand second. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. Like always, I've started filming kind of later in the day, so hopefully I can do it quickly. Um, so let me show you the bins before we head over there, actually, so you can get a good look at them. Okay, so I got two different kinds of organizational bins. Both of these things I got from Target, and I will link them below. But I got these drawer organizers. It's a pack of three. They're kind of long and skinny. And then I got the same um, collection, but just four small squares and then this was also at Target and it was a drawer organizer kit by like the Target brand so it has two squares one long one and then a big square at the bottom um, and then in my desk I actually have a drawer organizer already but it needs a revamp um, and then I got this for Christmas. It is a document box. So it's kind of like a safety box. I'm going to see if there's a spot for it in my desk. Um, but if not, it'll probably end up going in my nightstand. Um, and it's just like where I'm going to keep all the important documents that I need to save. So that is the plan. We're gonna go do the desk and then do the nightstand when we're done. And I'll use whatever's left over for the nightstand, but I mostly wanna get my desk really organized. So let's head over to my desk. This is my desk and it might not look that unorganized, but it is pretty unorganized. We have a couple of little shelves here. I have this little organizer that I'm gonna change one day to make it look cuter. This is like something I bought <laughs> maybe freshman year of college, so don't really love the color of it anymore, but we're gonna organize it nonetheless. Here's this drawer, it's like a big long drawer. Get ready. It's looking good, looking good. So that's gonna be something. And then we have this drawer, which is not as bad, but it's also not great. And Probably the other worst part is in this door. Literally things are falling out of it. So, oh gosh. So that's what we're working with. The very first thing I'm gonna do is empty the top two drawers and see what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep and do this a general organization. I'm gonna use the bins at the very end. So let's go through them. So I've cleaned out this drawer. I'm going to get Clorox wipes and clean the drawers once I empty them out. And we are going to try to put some stuff back in the drawer just as like a general place. And then at the very end when everything's cleaned out, we'll really organize it exactly how I want it. So let's get some Clorox wipes. I don't need to feel lonely. I am finally home at Okay, so I've emptied all the drawers and I've genu generally organized them. And I have this pile here of important documents and like sentimental things. So I'm gonna put all of them in the document box that I got for Christmas. Magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Now I'm gonna go through these shelves and then also the little organizer over here on my desk 
do the same thing, put everything on top, trash pile, sentimental pile, or like different place, and then things I want to keep at the desk, and then we've all put it all back. Down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. No this is my old camera, guys. Now you know why I needed a new one. I guess I should throw it away. Okay, so all of the top is done. I only have to go through this door. And then I've gone through everything. So let's go through the door. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Been walking down. It is now empty, so I'm going to try to fill it with things that I think should go in here. So I've gone through everything and I still have these, so I'm going to try to use them in the drawers and then I will show you everything when it's done. Okay friends, so this is the after, the final look at my desk organization. I actually recently got this new desk chair. It is actually from Walmart. I will link it down below. Super comfy, pretty easy to build, good price. Also, it's very cute. So that's a new desk chair and I really like it. Okay, so we're gonna go through a little tiny desk tour. Up at the top, we have a fake plant that we got at Home Goods. Three books that I wanna read this year. I have this little calendar. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for, but it was like a dollar at Target in the dollar spot. This really cute painting that I've got in college from someone that I went to school with. I have this little bell that one of my very best friends gave me. It says Puerto Rico on it, our Google Home. And then a little desk lamp way at the top so it can brighten up the whole desk. In my little cubbies, I have a picture of Rob and I, and then I also usually set my camera right here when I'm not using it. And then I have a picture of me and my friend group in college. And then two little sweet gifts from people about teaching. And then in this basket, this basket is from Target, I will also link it and I will obviously be linking my desk. I have a bunch of notepads and sticky note, like stickers and things like that. Stationery. So this is my little notepad basket. Right here I have my hourly planner from All Things Lillianne, and then I just have a notebook um, where I write YouTube video ideas in, so that's always right there. My computer, I have a coaster here with some coffee on it, and then I have three different pen holders. This one is all markers, this one is like more sharpie kind of markers, and then these are pens and pencils. My planner sits up here, or here depending on if I'm using it or not um, and this little thing is just a Sterilite drawer I got it probably six years ago from a Target or something I'll link something similar below but I don't know if I'll find this color so in here at the top we have post-it notes 
I have too many, I know. Oh, so many I can't close it. Okay, post-it notes, and then in here I have all different kind of tech things I use to edit. So this holds memory cards, my hard drive, different adapters for my laptop. And then down here is a bunch of extra printer ink. This mouse pad is from Target, and this is from Amazon. I will link both of them. In the main drawer, oh my gosh, it looks so much better than it did. There's lots going on in here. Okay, I bought those organizers like you saw. These are holding paper clips and binder clips. Extra markers. My extra car key. More markers, some colored pencils, command hooks. In here, this, okay, this little pencil pouch is from Vera Bradley when I was like in seventh grade. And in seventh grade in class, I would color all over it and I somehow still have it. But in here are different tools for my Cricut, stapler, squishy ball, rubber band ball, a ruler, sentence strips. This organizer was already in the drawer. So here's a bunch of hot glue gun sticks and some reinforcers, different kinds of tape, white out, um, some paper for my Polaroid zip and then my Polaroid zip, a glue stick, push pins, a stamp set. Back here are more camera batteries and then microphone is back there. In this drawer, I was able to fit most of it in the front drawer, which is great. So I have an extra container if I get random things. I have a longer notepad that didn't fit in the basket. Some eyeglasses, spray, and wipes. And then some cards that are blank that I really love. And they're there for me to send to people. And the last section was this door. It looks so much better in here. So up here is a bunch of Cricut supplies. So I have the charger, vinyl, things like that. I don't really use my Cricut that much, so that's why it's hidden away. I have the document box and a memory box. And then down here we have random stuff. My laminator, Apple Watch box, iPhone box, extra paper, and a three-hole punch. And then under my desk is my printer, which also doubles as a footrest. Okay, so it's a couple days later, and now we're going to organize my nightstand. And luckily it's a pretty small space, it's just two drawers, but there's a lot of junk in here. So, let's organize it. I'm going to show you guys a quick before of my nightstand. First of all, at the top I have this tray. It's really beautiful, I got it at a Marshalls. My reason for getting it was I was going to put like my phone and my glasses on it when I sleep. And I do put my phone on it, but my cats like to knock things, um, including my glasses, all over the place. So my glasses actually end up in my nightstand when I sleep. I have this little lamp that I clearly need to get cat hair off of, and then some coffee, which is not always here. But the top of my nightstand is pretty bare, only because my cats will knock everything off. So... In the first drawer, this is what it looks like. We're just doing a little pan. And then the second drawer looks like this. Really going great. So let's try to organize it. Okay, so like the other day when I did my desk, I have some extra of these bins and these bins. Um, and then I also bought... Another set of these in white for Rob, but he decided he didn't want them. So if I need them, I'm going to use them. But if not, we're just going to use these. Um, and if I don't need them, I'll end up returning them. But these are really great. I've actually used these in my classroom before as like um, little center things. So if you have like a game, you could put all the game pieces in one of these and give it to each group. That's a little side note teacher tip. So we're just going to do one drawer at a time, take everything out, figure out well, actually, we'll probably take everything out of the nightstand, organize what it is, do I need it in the nightstand, is it garbage, should it go somewhere else, and then we're going to put it all back nicely. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. Okay, why do I have all this stuff in my nightstand? I won't ever really know. Because I definitely don't need it all. Ready, Orange? 
Anyway, let's put it back. But first, I'm actually going to wipe down my drawers. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. friends we finished the bottom drawer back here we have all the tech stuff that I found that I think is worth keeping and there was already a basket for it but I just made sure everything in it is things I need some extra organizers my airpods case my headbands and my earrings I'm aware this is not the best way to store earrings but I don't really have an earring holder and they were in a much smaller container before so that's as good as it's gonna get but yeah that's the bottom drawer hello this is why I can't put things on the top of my nightstand because you like to lay up here <laughs> top drawer has the book I'm currently reading, my journal, the book I want to read next, my Apple charger, oh my gosh, my Apple watch on the charger, extra containers, this big containers with my masks, and then a little pen and highlighter for my journal. Very exciting. Okay, friends, so that is the end of this video. I'm so happy that I'm going into the new year with a clean closet an organized desk, an organized nightstand. We actually organized something else in our apartment together that was not very big, but it's like a huge weight lift off my shoulders. And I have one more organization video left. Um, hopefully I can get that one in in January. We will see. But if not, it will be coming in the first quarter of the year. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. We're so close to 500 subscribers. I know I keep saying that, but it would be so amazing if we could hit that in January. And my goal for this year is to hit 1,000. That would be amazing. So, I love you all. You're amazing. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. Put on your post notifications. I'm really, really excited for 2021. I have lots of videos planned. So there will be videos coming out consistently. So make sure to turn those on. You're amazing. Keep spreading positivity. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm here to stay every single day.